This is the fourth day of adding fiberglass on the center roof section. I did lots to the seams, so I added strips along all of the surfaces, and today I just added a lot of the outer layer that binds them together, a few layers around the, the edges where these long pillars kind of need extra support, <coughs> extra support. So I have to wait two days for this to cure, and then I'll take off all of the siding and um, try to peel the thing off. Uh, I put hot glue on to fasten the separator, and the hot glue is actually really hard, so I'm gonna have to heat that up, take it off. Some epoxy seeped through, so I'm gonna have to sand that down. I'm not worried about these air gaps because there are multiple layers of fiberglass underneath. This is just to give it structural strength. So I'm very curious to see the quality of the, the surface under this. Assuming I can get it off, I might have to cut some part here. I don't remember how far I sprayed the PVA release. And then after this comes off, I'll put it back on, take off the side, prep one of the sides, tilt the roof so that this surface is facing up. Do the same for the other side. Make the mold that matches with, with this. Drill holes in, and maybe I should add more, more layers. I can always do that after. So the windshield mount is ready. I put epoxy on the last, the last section. So this is ready to make, to tape out the edges and spray it and then lay out fiberglass for the mold. And later today, I'm gonna to sand this uh, drywall fill on the quarter panels and then put the separator and then do the taping and washing and PVA and wax for these parts. So I'm going to make these, this, and then while this is curing, and then get back to the sides when it's done. So here's the hood. And when I peeled this off, the camera wasn't recording for some reason. So when this, I'm going to take it off again and maybe just clean it. Very rubbery. Just make sure that the surface is down, and then add. Uh, I'm gonna check the level, so I'm gonna I'm gonna put uh, bars around it, and just check that it's a uh, flat surface and it's not twisted in any way, because I add reinforcement with foam, and that expands, so it may have twisted. So I'll make sure that's straight. Fasten this down. Add some support. Maybe use the expanding foam as a, like a membrane to make sure that this is. Uh, flat and solid and then flip it off and make a part. I don't need that right away because there's nothing to attach it to. That's why I want these pieces that will all attach to the body. I'll probably have to make standoffs to mount the body panels or maybe even ribbed contours that fit within the body panel and then can be fastened to the to the body.
So I covered the windshield mount with wax and PVA. Used quite a bit. This probably isn't enough for even another part, so I'll have to get lots more. And uh, I don't know how many coats, it's really hard to tell. It's not a perfectly smooth part, but that's fine because this is internal to the car. The body panels will cover this. And so I just started adding the first layer of fiberglass. It's getting kind of late tonight, so I'm gonna head out just a quick strip around this part. And uh, I'll, I'll just do one, one fold at a time so that I don't want multiple folds bunching up and pushing them out of place. So I'll just do bit by bit. This, I'm realizing now, will take a very long time because each of these folds will take one, one piece and along here I'm gonna have to cut lots of little ones. So each of these creases is, is a piece, a little square, and because it curves, the squares have to be small. Um, but it's, it's looking okay. I didn't get around to working on this yet. But this is an important part to get the uh, uh, windshield wipers and um, vents and the dash. So the this goes in and then the dash um, fits on top of this section here. Right here, this is the glass. Yeah, so I'll leave that at that for today. Thank you.